Hey guys, it's Crosshairs, and in today's video, I will show you how to build this combo lock right here. Entering the combination is completely silent, making it impossible to listen for the correct inputs. It's also sequential for an ad layer of security. It is incredibly compact and has automatic reset, which means that all you have to worry about is entering your combo correctly in order to activate it. It works with any block that emits a comparator output, and the combination could be as long as you want. It works with almost any combination, with one minor exception that just requires a tiny fix. Now, I recommend not making the last two digits repeat, but if that's what you truly desire, then that's what the fix is for. But, without further ado, let's build this thing. To start off, you will need a building area. Put the keypad where you want it to go, and you will need a certain amount of space, as shown, around the keypad in order to start the build. This design works on both Java and Bedrock Edition. Next, make sure you've decided your combination. Personally, I don't think combos get much better than this, but now you want to plug the number of digits, which in my case is 4, into the formula. The resulting number is how far you have to dig down. Now starting at the corner, place these triangular structures like this for each digit you have. For me that would be 4, and I'll continue all the way till the top. However, at the last digit, you want to build a slightly different structure, kind of like this. Now get your comparators ready, and place a comparator on subtract mode right there, and then place a comparator following it, and zigzag the comparators all the way down. So if the one top one's left, then do right, and then place redstone dust on top of all the empty blocks. Alright, let's get started. Remember a pause if needed. Now to start out, place blocks exactly like I do. Now you want to go back here and place a repeater on 3 ticks, facing it into a comparator on subtract mode, and a repair on 1 tick. Place redstone dust, a repair on 4 ticks, and a comparator on subtract mode. Now place a barrel and a comparator coming out from it, facing it to a comparator on subtract mode. Go down here and place a lever and flick it on and put a block in front of that comparator, followed by two redstone dust and a redstone torch, just like that. Now pay close attention because this layer repeats all the way to the top. Place two observers, just like this, and place a block on top here. Place blocks just like I did before, and place a repeater on three ticks. Place a comparator on subtract mode, and this time I repeater on three ticks. Put redstone dust and then repair on 4 ticks, followed by a comparator on subtract mode. Now place a barrel and a comparator going from it into a comparator on subtract mode. Place a block in front of the comparator without a lever this time. And place two redstone dust and a redstone torch. Now you'll want to repeat this layer all the way until the top, except for the last layer. Now this layer is slightly different, but you still want to place those blocks there and observers just like this. Now place a comparator on subtract mode, and now place a lever flicked on behind it. Next up, place a comparator on that barrel, and place a barrel behind it. And you'll want to go into that barrel and place precisely 8 non-stackable items into it. Now place that little U structure like on all the other layers and place a barrel right there with a comparator coming from it into a comparator on subtract mode. Place a block in front of it, two redstone dust, and a torch, just like that. Now place a repeater this time on four ticks. Now we'll be finishing up the build with the keypad itself. To start, place blocks under it, then a block back like this, and place redstone dust and a comparator. Put blocks behind the comparator, and then go up on the keypad and place blocks just like this, a little owl formation. Place redstone dust there, Comparator and redstone dust. Place blocks again, like this, and put redstone dust on top of the keypad. Uh, then put comparator, dust, comparator, dust. Just like that, and your build is finished. To test this thing, slowly hit the 1 button until that redstone signal reaches all the way to the bottom. If it does, congratulations, you built it correctly, and now it's time to set your combination. Now starting from top to bottom, you want to place the corresponding amounts of items into each barrel, and that will set your combination. The amount of non-stackable items needed for each signal strength is in the description. From the bottom comparator, run the signal wherever you want. 
However, if your last two digits repeat and you have an odd number of digits, then you'll have to apply this specific fix. Then you can run redstone from it to wherever you want. Now enter in your combination to make sure it works. You may have to find the best input speed for your combination specifically. Well, if you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.